a close. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We've got more in store for you right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith. That's Shaquille O'Neal. Thanks for joining us. And, a, boy, a pumped-up home crowd is behind us right now. So it's Miami who's out on top at the half. They lead by 15. Kenny, what did you see from them? That was the half of the super sub for them. A lot of offense coming off the bench. And that's such a luxury to have that kind of firepower available. There were times when the pace picked up when the second unit came into the game. And that's the best part, having a bunch of guys who's ready at the drop of a hat. And Shaq, how do you think the Jazz were playing? They relied way too heavily on three-point shot in the first half. Their long-range game was off. That's my off sound, Ernie. They were off. But they still settled for the outside shots. They got to put more pressure on the defense by pounding it inside and attacking the basket. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Barn as they end the quarter on a high note. A little joke right at the buzzer. And so it's Miami. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've kept the tempo quick and the defense on its heels. And it's gotten them up big. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Him out and he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit call time to just let them get their legs back under them and now let's present our Jordan player of the game Hassan Whiteside and guys it's been a rugged brand of defense he's played uh, I don't know why they keep taking the ball at it. it it seems like every time they have he's come up with the rejection and with every block he's only gotten more and more tonight, fired folks, up for our they lost for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. I3, and we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jeff Smith. Time to check out the first half of action. For the Knicks, the first quarter was pretty even. The biggest lead they were able to get out to during the first period was six points. The second quarter got a lot more exciting for them as they were putting up big numbers and find themselves way out in front here at the half. Hey, big fella, what's your take on New York so far? Well, it was an unselfish team-oriented half of basketball. The ball never stopped moving. Their offense had a great flow to it. It prevented anyone from getting lazy out there. They're always moving, cutting, knowing where they need to pass the ball, Ernie. And over to Kenny. Let's get your insights on Dallas. It looked like they were shooting threes blindfolded. Sometimes you could get cold, but that was atrocious. It was scary. But they also looked scattered out there, and I think that disorganization was the main issue for them missing those shots. They need to establish themselves better into a better rhythm in the second half and avoid relying so heavily on the three-point shot. So that'll do it for now as we send you courtside with Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K crew for the start of the second half. quarter comes to a close. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. And we'll be right back after this. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long, everyone.
It's the Thunder as they wrap up the first quarter on a 14-6 run. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. This big mountain of a man is Shaquille O'Neal, and this hill of a man is Kenny the Jet Smith. An outstanding first quarter for Paul George. He had 16 points, two rebounds, and one steal. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. Right up front, we saw the elite two-way game of Paul George. Locking down guys defensively, lesser athletes have almost no chance to score on him. And then he was in total command on the offensive end. Made plays for others and shot lights out for himself. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Phoenix? Well, they struggle in a number of areas. Protecting the rim is really at the top of the list. They haven't made that a priority. They haven't put forth a whole lot of effort. You got to protect the rim. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. A big advantage in the turnover stats because of their intense defense. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Joining us, that'll do it for now. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time. Some breathing room heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Been working out. After two quarters, it's Portland out in front. They lead by one point. Kenny, some perspective, please. Well, they were lighting it up from three, and that was the difference in the first half. They did a good job of running off screen, spotting up, and getting rid of the ball quickly. And their shot selection, solid. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? The thing I liked was how they were making a conscious effort to work the ball inside. They should do the same in the second half. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Whether running the offense through the post, driving it, doesn't matter. Get to the rim, and the rest will take care of itself. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Well, they trailed by a bunch, but once they got going, the comeback was on. Back to the action after this word. our Jordan player of the game, Pau Gasol. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. it up folks for greg anthony chris weber and david aldridge this is kevin harlan thanks for watching the nba presented by 2k sports and we'll see you next time wrap up the quarter they're playing a bruising game inside and it's working for them we'll return shortly
It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, folks. Ernie Johnson here alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Dennis Schroeder playing terrific basketball in this one. He had 12 points, three assists, and one block. The first two quarters tonight looked a lot like what we saw from him in his last game. Kenny, what was your take on Atlanta? Well, there was a big spark from the bench in the first half. Sometimes you're hoping for your reserves to come in and just hold court, but they didn't do that. They actually got better. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? Well, if you can't shoot the ball, you might want to stop chucking it up. They keep trying the three, but it's not going down. They're relying too much on the three ball, way too much. It's good when it's falling for you, but when it's not, you have to try something else. That's it for halftime. Glad you could join us as now we send you back to the action for the start of the third quarter. Four. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.